Hey everyone, it's me, Kim Coleman. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the Nav Menus add-on for Paid Memberships Pro to create a conditional menu based on the user's logged in membership level. Let's get started. You can see here I have my Must Love Dogs demo site already set up. I'm gonna start by installing the Nav Menus add-on and then I'll show you how to use the features of this tool. So navigate to your WordPress admin. I like to go to the Memberships Add-ons section because it makes me easy to filter out just the WordPress add-ons for Paid Memberships Pro. So if you search for Nav Menus, it'll come up here. Just click Install. Once the plugin is installed, I'll click Activate. So the first thing I'll show you here is on the front end of my site, we have a main menu that's already assigned to this primary menu location. Depending on your theme, you might have other built-in menu locations set up by default. So for this theme, there's a primary menu here that we're gonna adjust based on the user's membership level. So to do that, we go to the Admin, Appearance, Menus. And you'll see here by activating the Nav Menus add-on, it's duplicated all of our uh, existing menu locations in our theme with a, a new version for members or for people that are logged out. So I have uh, more, more menu options here to choose from. So what I'm going to do is adjust the menu called primary, which is assigned right now to our theme location for primary and footer. I'm gonna make a members only version of our primary menu. So to do that, click create new menu and I'll call this the primary members menu. I'm going to assign it to the menu location primary-members. You can see here there's also a menu location called primary logged in non-members. That menu would be shown if we created a menu and assigned it here, that menu would be shown to people that are logged in but don't have any membership level. So when you click Create Menu, you can start adding items to the list. So we'll still add our homepage on our blog, but I'm also gonna add a link. I'm gonna edit the name of our homepage to just home here. I'm gonna add a link to the account page, so that's front and center for our members. And that'll be there called Membership Account. I'll also add one for Menu Logout, and you can access this in the Paid Memberships Pro section of the menu. Just scroll down till you see log out. There, so I'm happy with that menu. This menu will swap in for the primary menu location. So I am logged in. I think that my menu, yes, my membership account here, the account that I'm logged into as an admin does have membership. So what you see here is that menu location switched. I'm gonna show you when I log out that the menu will go back to the regular menu uh, for our site, that primary menu that's shown for all people who don't have a membership level. I'm gonna show you one more version of this where we create a menu specifically for people in a specific membership level. So to do this, log into your site, go to Memberships Settings and edit the membership level. I'm gonna edit the beginner membership level and add a menu link to their special content, the special category of content on our blog. So within the edit level, scroll all the way down to other settings. When you expand that, you'll see that the nav menus add-on added a section here called navigation menu. I will check this box. That will create a unique nav navigation menu just for our beginner level members. So now when we go back to appearance menus, we'll see that it created a new menu location called primary for beginner members. So just like before, we'll click create new menu. I'm gonna call this primary beginner, how do you spell that? Okay, primary beginner members, create menu. And then just like our previous one, I'll add the homepage, the general blog, I'll add the account. I will add a logout link. And then the last thing I wanna add after I change the name of this menu item here is a link to that special members only content for beginner level members. And in this site, I called it beginner content. So I'll add that right after a link to our blog. We can Make sure that we assign it here to the primary beginner men members section. Click Save Menu. And now when we go to our front end, I'm still logged into a membership account that is not the beginner level. So let me show you when I change my membership level as admin here. I'll change myself to beginner so that we can preview the menu and see how that's changed for people logged into this level. So I'll refresh and you can see here the nav menus add-on has swapped the members menu location and shown me that exclusive beginners level menu. This is a really useful strategy for a membership site if you want to really help members access the content that they're paying for. And you also need your site to sell membership to non-members. So it's really challenging for membership sites when you serve that dual purpose. 
but the nav menu add-on really helps you create a customized experience for people that are logged into your site, no matter how specific it needs to be. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned uh, to more videos we publish about running membership sites, creating membership sites, using our software. Um, and if you have questions or comments, reach out to us below. Thanks so much.